In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come together to celebrate our faith, let us acknowledge our sins. He ask God for mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our sin life. Glory to God in the highest, and on our peace of people go away. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for the Lord and glory. Lord God, heaven King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only be God and Son, Lord God, heaven King, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. Receive our prayer, have mercy on us. For you alone are the only one. You alone are the Lord. You alone are, the Lord. You alone are most high, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of our Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show us favor, O Lord, to your servant, and mercifully increase the gift of your grace that made fervent in the hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful and keeping your command. We ask this to Christ our Lord. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you not want us, do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No, if you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then, at the harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First, collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. He proposed another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables I will announce what was lain hidden from the foundation of the world. Then, dismissing the crowds, he went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, the good seed the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who calls others to sin, and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord.
Today's gospel is a long text, but it's a beautiful message. The gospel speaks about the evil in the world. We have so many questions about the evil in the world. We ask many, many times, why did God create the devil? Why the evil in the world? In today's gospel, Jesus is going to respond to our concerns, questions about the evil in the world. For many years, I used to ask myself why the evil? Why did God allow bad people kill the babies? Why did Jesus choose Judas as his apostle? We know that Judas was one of the apostles of Jesus Christ. And Jesus is God. And Jesus knew that Judas was a bad, bad guy. But Jesus allowed Judas to be close to him for three years. Three years. Why? We ask ourselves many questions about the bad people. Why God allow God people in this world? So we are like the slaves in the parable when they ask the master, do you want us to pull out the weeds in the field? And the master says, no. Let them grow together. Let them grow together, the weeds and the wheat. Let them grow together. So Jesus tells us this parable. He told the parable to apostles because he wanted to give them the message. He wanted to respond about the questions we ask about the evil in the world. Jesus wanted to tell them that God is patient to us. Even though we fail to keep the Ten Commandments, but God is patient to us. God loves the sinners we are. And God never rejects the sinners. He rejects the sins we commit every day. And God gives us opportunity to change, to repent. He gives us the second chance, the third, the fourth, to change. God is God. God is love. God loves us, even good people, bad people, all of us, because we are image of God. But also, Jesus wanted to tell the apostles that God is patient to us, and God wants us to be patient to the people we consider sinners. Sometimes we ask ourselves many questions, why? But God wants us to be patient to the people, to give them chance to change, to repent. But also Jesus wants us to stop judging. Let 
let them grow together. Let the weeds and the wheat grow together. Jesus wants us to be patient to everyone and stop judging because only God can judge us, the people. Only God has the authority to see the hearts of the people. And God wants us to see the beauty in each person we meet every day, even those we consider bad people. We can see the beauty. We can see God in everyone. That the way we can build the kingdom of God to see the beauty in each person we meet every day. So Jesus tells us today this parable because wants us to be patient, to see the beauty of each person, because we are all created by the image of God. So brothers and sisters, today's gospel is a good opportunity for us to take time and to reflect how many times we ask ourselves questions about the evil. How many times God wants us to be patient? How many times God wants us to see the beauty, to see God and to be patient to the people we meet every day? So today and the rest of the week, we are called to ask God for grace. Grace to see God. Grace to be patient to ourselves and to the people we consider sinners around us. Remember what Jesus says, let them grow together. Let the wheat and the wheat grow together. God is God. God is love. God loves us, but God also gives us the opportunity to change and to repent. I believe in one God, the Father of my God. Maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, consubstantial with the Father. He suffered death, was buried, he ignored the end of our country. He is in the right hand to see the right hand. Come again to the other hand, as we live in the dead. I believe in one spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. We proceed from the Father, the Son. With the Father, the Son is our glory glorified was spoken to the prophet. I believe you one Lord God, God with me. I profess one of baptism and forgiveness sins. Hallelujah.
called to be people of faith and love, we turn to the Father of love with our prayers. For our bishop, may he follow God's will and seek the good of those he serves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work in the judicial branch of government, in wisdom and mercy, may they work for justice while protecting the dignity of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, formed by the word of God and fed by his body and blood, may any sickness of mind, body, and spirit be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, that we will grow in faith and respect for all believers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth, may they strive to always sow good seed in this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to abortion, for the names listed in the Book of Intentions, for those held silently in our heart, and for the seminarians of the Diocese of Owensboro, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been called through death to eternal rest, especially Logan Davis and Isaac Sterrett, and for Lindsay Clements, the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of creation, in you we place our hope and trust. Hear our prayers that listening to your word and feasting at your table, we might be strengthened to do your will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from, from your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, this most sacred mystery may satisfy our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, who will send us our Savior, a Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Follow Frederick Orwell, again for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as under his passion, so to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and the all the saints, we declare your glory as with what voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. God host. Heaven and earth are full of glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord and the older created to rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rise of the sun to the setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. He gave you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave you to the Sao Paulo, saying, Take this of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and gave you thanks, he said a blessing, he gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this of you and drink from it. For this is a chalice, my blood, the blood of the new and the covenant, which be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial for the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to second coming, we offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon blessing your church and recognize, 
They recognized things as sacrificial victim, I was dead. You waited to reconcile to yourself. Grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us eternal offerings to you, so that we may obtain in every tense which you elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. May you bless our apostles and glorious martyrs with all the saints on whose constant intercession your presence will rely for the failing help. May the sacrifice our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm the faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and William our Bishop, the order the bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom we are summoned before you, your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all the children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, and are passing from this life, give kind of to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow the world, all that is good. Throw him with a hand and a hand. O God, the mighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, in form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who are heaven, the Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious and peace of our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free, free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessing of hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but to fear your church. A gradually grant peace unity in accordance with your will. We live your reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, He who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you my roof. 
but only said the word I so so appreciate.
Let us pray. Loving God, we present your people, we pray, O oh Lord, and lead those we have in will with heavenly princes to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wicked.